like this Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go through around 40 features that can be enabled via software coding or better known as VCDS coding in this Tigan top line variant. So this is a 2022 manufactured car having 10 inch infotainment with stock theme as blue color and the virtual cockpit that is also in blue color. So all these features are there in the car from factory given by the manufacturer but they are disabled due to country specific reasons and they can be enabled via software coding or better known as VCDS coding so this first feature this is called lock unlock sound so if I press the unlock button on the remote you will hear double beep sound and the OR wing gets opened and if I press the lock button you will hear single beep sound that means the complete car is locked suppose I am leaving this rear door behind the driver open and and now if i press the lock button you will not hear the single beep sound or the indication on the indicators like this that means the dicky bonnet or any of the four doors are open so now if i go back and close this door you will hear the single beep sound like this so this next option this is called driver window open close using remote so right now as you can see the car is locked if i long press the unlock button like this if I keep it pressed the driver window will be opening as long as I keep the button pressed now if I want to close the window I will press the lock button once and the driver window will get closed automatically this is one option for closing the window so next option for closing the driver window this is by long pressing the lock button so as long as you keep the lock button pressed the driver window will be closing if I release the button the window will stop if I want to close the window fully, I need to long press the button again. Then the window closes fully. So this next feature, this is called uh, ORBM opening after turning on ignition. So right now you can see the car is locked. If I press the unlock button, you will see ORBM will not open. So now if I get inside the car, I turn on the ignition you will see ORVM will open so this next feature this is called DRL and tail lights on when unlocking the car so right now you can see the car is locked if I press the unlock button the front DRL they will get on and simultaneously the tail lights will be on like this so now if I lock the car press the lock button you will see tail lights are off as well as the front DRL are off ok so this next feature this is called DRL and the indicators blinking so you can see on the driver side the DRL and the indicator they are blinking simultaneously if we go on the passenger side you will see DRL and indicator they are blinking one by one or out of sync and the same blinking can be done to the tail lights along with the indicator so on the left side you can see tail light and indicator they are blinking out of sync or one by one with each other and if we go on to the driver side you will see tail lights and the indicator they are blinking simultaneously with this next option this is called ORVM indicator blinking out of sync with each other so as you can see from the front uh, the front indicator and the ORVM indicator they are blinking out of sync and similarly if we go behind the car you will see the same thing happening from here as well like this okay, so this next option this is called tail light on with boot open so as you can see the car is locked right now if i go behind the car and try to open the boot you will see tail lights are on and once you close that to boot tail lights will be off automatically so this next feature this is called fog light flashing with i beam flashing so if i pull the headlight lever you will see fog lights are also flashing with the high beam 
like this so this next option this is called rear led sdrl so as you can see right now the headlight is in zero or off position if i go behind the car you will see the tail lights are on right now so this next option this is called drl off on applying handbrake so right now you can see the handbrake is down if i go in front of the car you will see drl are on so now if i go inside the car and pull the handbrake the handbrake is pulled so if i go in the front you will see drl are off so as you can see the car engine is on right now i will go out of the vehicle i will lock the door and now press the lock button on the remote you will see car is getting locked and even if i pull the door handle it will not be unlocked and at the same time you will see the car engine is still on this next option this is called lane change click to five blinks so if i tilt the indicator slightly you will see the indicator will blink five times this next feature this is called tear drop wipe so if i pull the wiper lever it sprays water and then wipe three times after that wiper wait 5 seconds and wipe one more time automatically like this so this next feature this is called theater dimming effect so as you can see the headlight is in off position if i turn on the headlights you will see the inside lights getting on slowly getting off slowly and this thing works on the driver door pad as well like this and on the center console as well so this next feature this is called anti theft alarm so right now you can see the car is unlocked i press the lock button car is locked now we need to wait around 25 seconds after that if we pull any of the door handle from inside the car horn starts honking and it honks continuously till the time you press the unlock button on the remote and then the car honking stops so now if i open the passenger door handle from inside you will see the car horn will start honking like this i press the unlock button and the car honking stops this next option this is called engine start stop button pulsation so as you can see the start stop button that is pulsating this button keeps on pulsating as long as the ignition is on once you start the engine the blinking stops okay this next feature this is called ambient light on every time so right now you can see the car headlights are off and all the four doors are closed so the ambient light is still on so the next option for the instrument cluster this is called the rpm bar or horizontal tachometer so right now as you can see above the speed there is nothing the space is empty you will see the rpm bar is there so this thing shows the rpm in real time so right now as you can see the virtual cockpit is showing the warning please switch on the lights the warning has been disabled so take a look the headlight switch is on zero if i put it to auto headlight gets on i put it back to zero but the warning is still not showing so right now as you can see the top speed limit on the instrument cluster this is showing as 260 this can be changed to 280 just like this other options for the instrument cluster this one is called refuel quantity so right now it is showing hyphen liter that means the tank is almost full and this thing shows in the multiple of 5 only like 5 10 15 20 20 and what this means is like how much fuel you can fill in the tank and tank will become full so this being a 1 liter engine so oil temperature is not enabled from factory by default so right now if i click it is showing 64 degree celsius as the oil temperature next option for the instrument cluster this is called steering angle or tire angle so as you can see if i move the steering right now it is showing 23 degrees if i move the steering this tire angle will change so now it is showing 0 degree that means the tire is almost straight so the next option for the virtual cockpit this is called door ajar warning on all four doors so right now if i open the driver door you will see sound will be coming on the instrument cluster and if i open the passenger door then also you will see the sound it is giving for the passenger door let me close the door the sound is gone So right now you can see the RPM is around 1500 and it is showing on the horizontal tachometer. 
So if I rev the engine two or three times, you will see economy tip showing on the virtual cockpit. Like this. So this being the one liter top line, the stock color is blue on the virtual cockpit. And there are around 16 million possible colors for the virtual cockpit, which can be changed. But you get to choose only one. This next color, this is the green color shade. This next color, this is dark blue. This is yellow or the orange shade. This is the red color option. So this next color option, this is black color. This next color option is aqua. So the next option for the AC, this is called show AC blower speed in auto mode. So if I press the auto button, you will see it is showing the fan blower speed. This is disabled by default and it shows blank or nothing. This next option for the AC, this is called improved AC performance for enhanced cooling. The AC is set to 25 degrees Celsius. And if I show you the temperature on the virtual cockpit, it is showing outside temperature as 27 degrees Celsius. So even at 25, the AC is cooling, unlike the stock tuning from the factory where you keep the AC at 23 or 24 and the AC blower starts to give hot air. Next option for the infotainment, this is sports menu. So right now if I click here, you will see the turbo boost or pressure on the left side in the center. It will show the gear display. This is a manual, so that's why it is showing hyphen. Around that is RPM. In the right side is speed and TPS. This is called throttle positioning sensor. And below that is fuel quantity, coolant temperature. So if I press the accelerator, you will see all the things will be changing like this. This next option, this is called off-road menu. So if I click on off-road, you will see tire angle. You will see altitude from sea level. This is the oil temperature, fuel quantity and coolant temperature. And this thing shows in yellow or orange color only. This next option for the infotainment, this is called engine auto start stop reasons. So if I click on the screen, swipe left, click on vehicle status. There is a small button called start stop. If I click here, so this is showing the reasons why the engine will not be getting off automatically. Next option for the infotainment, this is called AC controls on the infotainment. So as you can see right now, the AC is off. If I click on any of the buttons, they will be unresponsive. So for that, I need to first turn on the fan. So clicking here, the fan gets on. This button and this sink button, these are dummy because they are for dual climate zone. If you want to increase, decrease the temperature, you can click here plus minus on the left side. This is the rear defogger. This is auto. This is air circulation. You can change the air flow using these three options. And if I want to turn off the AC, I need to slide this to the small fan icon and then press or press it again so ac gets off this next option for the infotainment this is called kenton sound signature which improves the sound quality bass treble and vocals everything the music system sound quality enhances so you will feel the difference from the stock tuning from the factory so this next feature this is called video in motion via pen drive so i click on this music icon I select this USB one, I go down, click on the video files and I play this video. So you can see the video is playing. If I start moving the car, the video will still be playing. This is called a video in motion. So there are multiple startup options for the infotainment. So you will see the VW logo like this. This is the Welcome to Volkswagen GTS boot logo. This is the next option, Welcome to Volkswagen Beats Audio. So there are multiple options for the infotainment. This is the stock color that is blue color. This one is red color. This next color option is yellow. So these next three features, they are related to the driving dynamics of the car. So first one is related to the steering that is called dynamic steering profile. So by default from factory, the steering is very light. But if you want to increase the weight or want more feedback or control, the steering becomes a little heavy. Second option that is for the throttle, that is called enhanced throttle response. Like right now, whenever we are crawling in the second gear and whenever we press the accelerator, there is some sort of lag that is felt between 900 to 1600 RPM and especially in the second gear. By using this setting, the lag can be reduced to some extent. It doesn't become completely zero, but the car pulls a little linear. Third option that is for the brakes that is called enhanced traction control or torque vectoring with strong XDS. So the torque vectoring thing, this is set to medium from factory by default. And what this thing does is it improves braking while cornering and in general also 
So if we change this setting to strong, the braking will become little better. Cornering will be even better because it improves braking while cornering. And in general, you will feel the braking also sharp or the bite will be better than medium setting. We have coded more than 750 cars all over India. So you can go and check out us on Instagram. If you want to get these features enabled in your car, you can ping us on WhatsApp or Instagram and the links are provided in the description. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.